Right, well, new car vlog. Let's go. Let's go get this car. So I'm currently on a tall step ladder. So I'm gonna have to get down from before I get this car, but I'm gonna go get this car. It's in um, Peterborough, market deep in, in Peterborough, which is a little bit away away. So um, we're gonna hop in the whip. We're gonna get the whip. What's in the whip? Yeah, it's like that you guys went on there. Yeah, so time for a big car reveal. Bam, what a Colt, Mitsubishi Colt, Rally Art. Um, it's got lights on the front. You can't see that plate. Um, Steelies. Uh, came with a free driver, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks menacing from the back. Uh, Crichton's Mitsubishi. Good reflections. That's pretty sick. Came with a free cam belt as well. Very, very cool car. Very cool car. Give it some beans. Listen to them beans. 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 Yeah, this thing's sick. Okay, well, you yeah, now join me in the car about eight days late. No, nine days later than the last clip. Because basically, I filmed the second bit and then i accidentally deleted the second bit so we'll just ignore ignore well we can't really ignore the fact that it didn't happen because it happened but now it hasn't happened because it got deleted because so if you delete something it happens but it hasn't happened anymore but yeah join me in the car it's pretty headroom spacey oh shit pretty headroom spacey i could definitely rub my head and pat my belly on this it's got a second seat. It does have a couple of rips in the seat, but I can get that stitched up at some point. Or I can get some red sparkos or confettis. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a little bit ruined there. Back seats work. And they go down. I'll show you that in a second, but it's pretty cozy in here. So you can see on the wheel, it is a Mitsubishi. It, it can't, it doesn't have the horn on, but it is a Mitsubishi. Has right there, it's a, it's a freaking bush. Hey, eh? um, the wheel it does spin. You got this thing here, it's pretty cool. Um, this it's pretty sick, very cool. Do things with it now. We can put the key in. Oh, shit, what do I do? Oh, shit. hang on. Look at that, and now um, I've got to check the engine and do all, I'm just kidding. It's just like, I just plugged it in. And it doesn't tell the correct time, ever. Wait, maybe it does. I think it does actually tell the correct time. I think that is actually the time now. I think about it. Wait. Okay, it is actually the correct time, which I find quite mad. I didn't, I don't remember. Oh wait, no, I remember. I changed it now, so it does say the right time. This is like something, it does something cassette player even though i don't have any cassettes so the first modification i do i'm going to change this for a cd but oh, why is it blurry hang on it should be less blurry now that looks slightly better i suppose uh yeah the check engine light is gone so i have to check the engine but the oil lights and the battery light have both stayed on but that's because the car's not actually on so yeah it does have um workout windows you see this very important having a workout windows, you know, working out kind of man, big muscles. Um, it has gears, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and no sixth, but instead you reverse. So when you want to go backwards, you can hear it. Very cool, very cool. Handbrake, very important, you don't want to mess up. Cigarette lighter. Uh, removable ashtray. Oh fuck! All you saw was my staring up. Put that back in, bad boy. Uh, yeah. And if you pull those things up, even though my mate tried that, and he did break it, so you can see it's a little bit broken compared to the one on that side, which isn't. You see, yeah, look, that one's not broken. That one is broken. Whoa! Brake lights work. Brake lights work. You see that? Brake lights work. Very cool. Is the engine? It's a Mitsubishi G D G thirteen 
12 valve SOHC 1.3 litre GLI engine producing around about 74, 75 horsepower, something like that. Needs a bit of a clean, so we'll have to keep updating some more Chris Fix videos. Watch a couple of them. Um, pretty sick though. There's those. And it's got rally lights that say rally art. They're not real, but they're still headlights that say rally art on. Pretty cool. Um, you can't see that. That was never seen by you. Uh, definitely the bit of writing up there. Make it personalised. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I don't understand why there's wiring going up through there. I don't understand what that is for. I'll find out one day probably. But I've, I've never actually understood. Maybe they're like temperature gauges or something. I don't know. Okay. Oh, and another reasonably funny part about my car. The air filter isn't connected to the air intake properly. You have to like put it in like that and it just kind of works, but not really. I'll leave it like that for now. It's, it's not too important, but I need to get this clean. I need to get this clean. It's very important because it's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit rusty as well. Oh, so I'll show the rust in the comments. So the only real bits of rust I have are back here and um, it's on both sides. That's uh, rather unfortunate. I'm probably gonna get that fixed. It's also underneath the car as well. I don't know if you can see it. It's not even that bad on the side. It's worse on the other side. If we go around the other side. See, it's pretty bad there. And on the bottom, it's not too good. It's all right, but it's not too good. It's a little bit of rust on the door there. Um, what else? It's a little bit of rust there. It's got steelies though. Can't get wrong with steelies. Steelies are sick. I think on the back as well, there's a little bit of rust there, but rust is inevitable, unless you live in South Africa, they have rust. Black Ford, Ford Sierra coming soon. Woo, woo. So I'm wondering how big the boot states is. Well, it's big enough for at least two bodies. Ow, I can fit in this. Get out! I'm just stuck in here now. It's my new home. Pull these up. One, two. I'll push this forwards. Ah oh, ha! Boom! Ah ha! Ah, ha, ha. Put that there. Push this down. Pop it back. Pop it. And then take this. And you've got a, yourself a bed. Man, it's got a camper van. You reckon there's room for a washing machine? Oh, there's definitely room for a washing machine. I tell you. Oh, these can go. I wrap up today's video with a couple of. Oh, I thought my flash was on for a minute. Gonna wrap up today's video with a couple of things I want to do with this car. This dash is black with white accents. You can get one with that's white with black accents, which also has a rev gauge. This doesn't have a rev gauge. I really want to get a white one with a rev gauge and black accents instead of black on white. I mean, white on black. Black on white instead of white on black, because I think it looks cooler in Japanese cars. Also, finally have the time, but another thing, wait, hang on. I'm trying to flash for this one. You see this? It's a cassette player. I'm not old enough to have cassettes, sadly, as much as I'd like to have cassettes. Press it on. Oh, it doesn't want to turn on, but okay. I'm going to replace this with a um, CD player instead of... A cassette player because um I don't have any cassettes, but I have a bunch of CDs. As you can see, Jamoraquai, Bajork, Jamoraquai, Jamoraquai. You know what I mean? These are just some CDs that I've got a lot more upstairs in my room, but I need that to fix it. So that's one thing I definitely want to get for the car. Well, another thing is this wheel is like really sticky. Like, just look at that. Hear that? That's some serious stick. It's weird on your hand. I don't like it. I might just give it a clean. So it is after that. But yeah. And also the seats are now down. Look how much space there is in the back. I could I can put so much stuff in it. It's really cool. 
But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. This is me with a flash in my face. All right, goodbye. Next video is gonna be me um, crashing this into a tree. I'm just kidding. I'm not crashing into a tree. Next video is gonna be um, a black faulty arrow.